Right, so we're on this little country drive somewhere. And we've just walked right to the top from the bottom as far as we can go. And we're in the poor tree vicinity. And because I've uh, been nursing a injured back for the last week or so, then mainly be doing light duties, but good to be out and about again. So you got Charlie with us today. But it's always surprising how many little places there are tucked away in the middle of nowhere. Places you probably just wouldn't get to see. Unless you did what me and Charlie did and uh, just went off for an explore. So it's quite wet today. And looks like a bit of posh ground here. Come on you. Some houses. But... The kind of places that I uh, love riding my bike, my motorbike that is, but obviously advice is simple, unless it's a byway open to all traffic then it's not a good idea. But we're on foot today, as I said having some gentle exercise just to get my back into the rhythm again. And coming down this rather rocky little lane. And it gets a bit dark in a moment. Sort of going downhill there into that shady tunnel. Charlie. I'm a bit reluctant to let Charlie have a wonder. Just in case he goes somewhere he shouldn't. Right. Oh, getting a bit of a slide going there. Oh, there's a farm gateway. Cool. Have a quick look in here. Rather impressive view. Wow. I just love being outdoors. It's great. It's brilliant, even on a wet overcast day, it's nothing better. Right, off we go again, okay. Now, if only I could ride my bike up here, that would be amazing, but it's not going to happen because it's not on the byway map and there's no way of telling who owns it and of course i'm sure there's a few people tucked away around here that would object to a, a noisy motorcycle coming up their lane but there we go we can but dream but there's plenty of other places to ride funny kind of way i'm sure i've been here before i know i haven't in fact i'm certain i haven't but all seems a bit familiar and coming down quite steep now Whoa. ouch just tripped on a stone kind of jarred myself a bit it's Charlie there's a big green lead I think we're coming up to the bottom. I'm just gonna pause and have a look back the way we came. Well, it's always impressive the curvature of the trees and the banks and stuff and gives you that sort of tunnel effect. But, hey, 
in fact. Hey, Charlie, stop. I'm going to give myself a break from Charlie, I think. Let him run around for a bit. Now we're a bit further away from these houses. Here he is, on the grass. Yep. Wow, manhole cover. Sort of thing you don't expect to find on a country lane. But sewers are everywhere. But the good news is my back is feeling a lot better and I think this is actually doing me good. Take my hood down now for that heavy shower we had. Come on, hood, down you come. That's better. Oh. Cool. Oh. So we've started from the bottom down here and we've walked all the way to the top of this lane. Had absolutely no idea where it went, but just checked the byway map and it is. I think it's not a byway, but it's just basically a access for property or farmland, which is cool. But rather interestingly, it does uh, appear to go right up to the perimeter of RAF Paul Tree. Charlie, come on, come on. Good boy, Charlie. Gone off the beaten track a bit there. Um, coming down the lane now. Um, there we go, at the bottom, that is the Paltry Tramway. It was actually an old horse-drawn tram system, which uh, I think it was 18th century. It was uh, created to move tin and copper ore to Paltry, which was then a harbour. So it could be loaded on board ships and taken away. I'm going to have a quick look at it in a minute. <coughs> Here we go. You can see it's quite level. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, so just in front of us, we can see the technical site of RAF Four Tree, World War Two technical site obviously in use today as an industrial park but no mistaking we've got classic air ministry design buildings now you might think it's quite funny why these buildings were here in the bottom of the valley when you think that RAF Bull Reef is all the way up the top of the hill there well quite simple it was to protect the technical site from attack by the Luftwaffe, meaning difficult to find and of course hopefully sheltered from any bombs down in the bottom of the valley and quite a fair distance away from the airfield but some of these buildings are even lived in there's some houses there and of course some business units and we'll keep going walking back And I think the sun might come out as well, that's another bonus, which is good. Now obviously from the road it looks completely different, but you can see there again some more of the old air ministry buildings, which have thankfully been re-employed for civilian use. And quite a lot of them. Good to see that they've lasted all this time, and of course that they're all in occupation, not derelict or falling to pieces, which is great. And I think there's been quite a lot of uh, 
refurbishment work done to these buildings over the years. Just about see them through the trees. And quite a large site actually. And some rather large what would have been workshops. Oh, Charlie's galloping. Probably seen another squirrel. But uh so just gonna keep this one fairly short folks and thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and keep your eyes out and we'll be seeing you again thanks very much